Well, hello there again. This is your reviewer and doll collector, Mike McGee, and I want to talk about a certain subject in defense of Snow White. Poor Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs and Prince Charming. They're so scapegoated. They're so scapegoated these days. Let me say to show you my older video, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Here's the front. Here's the back. Let's take this cover off. Here it is. Here's Snow White. Here, here's the front again, and here's the back. And this is what it looks like. The, um, it started when Disney wanted to remake the Snow White and Seven Dwarfs and wanted to get a facelift. And the producer wanted to say that, um, oh, they wanted to be exclusive, inclusive to everybody. Well, they weren't. When they decided to eliminate those seven small working men called the Seven Dwarves, they promoted discrimination against small people, and I hope some small people or fans of the original classic notice that. They weren't being inclusive to small people. They actually were saying that small people are bad by not, by not portraying live-action versions of small people. So they were being bigoted. This is typical of a corporation that follows the Bill and Hillary Clinton uh, side of the Jimmy Carter regime legacy versus Richard Nixon's regime legacy. So they ruined their own classic. And the actress, well, here's her problems like many others. Those who are not fans of antiques, those that are not fans of, uh, of classic songs and literature, are most likely going to scapegoat the past for their personal problems. And here's another interest thing you should know. Remember historically when Malcolm X faced that his father got killed by a Klansman. He, got, he was scarred to death for the rest of his life. So from that time on up until his assassination, he was suspicious of all white people. He hated them even criticized Martin Luther King for integration. Well, you have many women out there referring to a, a, a term that really shouldn't be called because it's too complimentary, radical feminists. They're women who've been scarred by our chauvinism of our society, and they, they became uh, des uh, feminists. They became desperate for a quick answer to stop the sexism right now. And so they're suspicious at everything, heterosexuality, male gender, history, uh, subjective fantasies that never don't portray their realities, because they're desperate for a quick answer. And then there's the other f sides of the feminist movement who knows that, that's the unpopular side, the one that the media ignores, that the best solutions is long-term, long-termers, kicking the... Uh, kicking the opponents out of the government against human rights, replacing it with the right people, enforcing the laws, not using censorship in the name of tolerance anymore, that self-esteem ideology, which is nothing but, in my opinion, superstition. In other words, you don't hide in a safe space. You face your enemy. You have to if you want to win. But um, as I said, she was entitled to her opinion, but we're entitled to defend Snow White. Snow White and the Prince, they're so, they're so good people. They're good people that they would, they, would, they would give you their clothes if you needed them. If you're starving to death, they would feed you. If you're looking for shelter, they would help you to find shelter, let you stay in their castle until you find a place of your own. And those seven working men, the seven little dwarves, when they're not working in their mind, they're, they're involving sometimes in charity work. And guess what? They now clean and cook for themselves since Snow White made an ultimatum that every time she has, when she's visiting them, that she has to cook, she has to cook and clean for them 
she's not going to see them anymore. That's when they changed. So now they cook and clean for themselves. There's nothing wrong with Snow White. There's nothing wrong with Little Prince. There's something wrong with Little Prince Charming. There's something wrong with um, the Queen. She's evil. She's a misogynist. She's a sexist. She's a chauvinist. But those women are in desperation for a quick answer to stop sexism right now. They're scarred because of bad experience. They don't trust. They don't trust history. They don't trust past classics. That is a suspicion. If you're, rem if you're remembering this, it's going to cause people to turn against women. But on the other side of feminism, the ones that use sex outside of one-on-one -on -one dating, marriage, monogamy, and child raising, they're, pro, they're sex positives. But you'd be surprised how many of them are also fans of sex and violence and fiction and art and film. But those are the ones that the media ignores. They like the ones that, that are desperate for a quick answer. They make quick draw. Yeah, they're feminists who like uh, uh, video games like Roblox Piggy. Which, if you if you don't stay away from Piggy, these he's gonna he's, he, they're gonna kill you. Or how about the haunted McDonald's uh, uh, place, which you have to go at midnight to get hamburgers and shake shakes, and you got to avoid that mad McDonald's manager. But you'd be surprised how many see those games as end of the world. But as I said before. Um, I'm not going to see the movie for different reasons. First of all, I made a mistake seeing The Littlest Mermaid. She, that actress was very great, but she never put down the original Little Mermaid. She probably grew up with it. But anyway, um, anyway, I made a mistake in seeing it. You see, when Disney re refused to reissue Song of the South in the name of Tolerance, I, I said I'd never see a Disney film again until they reissue it sometimes. And uh, also they underpay and underbenefit their workers. And their CEOs get too much money. And they're hoarding the Fox legacy. And they're messed up Popeye Doyle. And they're going to mess up uh, Richard Widmark and No Way Out probably. And they're going to stop putting out physical media. And they're going to hoard Fox physical. They need to have the common decency to sell it to somebody equivalent to Turner that would take care of Fox's legacy and distribute the movies the way they were meant to be, uncut. Popeye Doyle is no saint, nor is Richard Widmark's character. He's a psycho racist. But anyway, they're hoarding. Good God, they even refuse to offer uh, Bob Fermanek of the 3D Archives a license to restore Gorilla at Large in 3D for Polaroid and Anaglyph versions. Aren't you glad that they restored another Fox film? Uh, the, the film with Rhonda Fleming? Inferno? God, if they waited till Dizzy, it'd still be 2D. They're being selfish. They're being very, very selfish. And they're uh, also another reason why I'm not going to see any more Disney because they're they're ki they're blowing their own brains out. They're screwing themselves up. They're putting out stream that no one wants to see. They're losing money. Why did they Why did they change and go back to the way they were way before this crap ever happened? Because Bob Iger wants cash flow and he wants to bet you have power over their business and everybody. Burning everything that reflects bigotry of the past and all that other bull, denying history. So Disney is killing themselves, uh, and they're going. It's it may not work. They're going to lose money. They're going to go down the drain. What they're doing right now, refusing to put out physical media. We need physical media and stream, and that stream needs to have more variety and choices, like old, like uncut versions of Fox classics. Even if it has bad language, the person was bad anyway. Are they going to withdraw Pinky because it had a white girl playing Pinky? I wouldn't be surprised. Or how about uh, Stormy Weather because it was segregated, cutting Lena Horn off. And Bill Bojangles Robinson, a rare case with an, oh, a 60-something-year-old, plays a leading man. But anyway, 
she was entitled to hating a, a fairy tale if it doesn't fit her, but we have we're we're entitled to um defending Snow White. Defending it entirely because it's a good classic and there are feminists out there who don't find problems with this. And in a sense she is a talented actress. I hope it don't give her bad effects in acting jobs. She was entitled to her opinion even though but the, like I say, those that are fans of the past usually don't um, know not to scapegoat. Well, this is Mike McGee, and um, I will uh, talk to you later. If you like this, please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you. Bye.